Today I have a new item to show you that I just found. It is a electric tea kettle. Let's take a closer look at the box. It is by this company here, Vava, and it is a 1.7 liter digital kettle. Let's go ahead and open it up right now. Here it is out of the box and you get the little owner's manual tells you how to program it and to use it. There's the base. This does seem like a pretty heavy duty um, base. A lot of them can be pretty flimsy and also if you want to make it shorter you can do that. So uh, that's nice but I, it does seem like it's a pretty nice a little bit more uh, heavy duty than the other ones that I've seen. It has a little stainless steel on it. I like that. Pretty nice. Now for the tea kettle. Uh, very, very attractive. I really like this. This is a nice looking tea kettle. And let's take a closer look. Here you'll see this is the name of the company with their sort of logo, Vava. You have a clear window where you can see exactly how much water you put in it. That's nice. And nice uh, stainless steel. You have the spout and you can see that there is a filter inside. And here, this is what makes this really different, is this part here. This is where you can program it to boil at a particular temperature. When you're dealing with uh, delicate teas and things like green tea, uh, you don't want them to be too hot. There's certain temperatures you want certain teas to be at and not higher. So that's good. As you can see, it's a clear window. So you can look right down into it and open it. You do that. So let's look inside. And that's what it's like inside. There's a lot of tea kettles when you want to try and clean it and put your hand down in it to really scrub it. It's a little hard. So this this is a, something that I do pay attention to when I want to look at and get a new tea kettle. Oh, I just noticed that. the Actually, the water level is on both sides. That's nice. So depending on whatever side you prefer to have the uh, position, you'll still be able to see the amount of water you have in it. Uh, I guess the next thing, I'm going to go ahead, let's get some water, and I want to go ahead and try it out. Let's see how well it works. Um, right about there. Very easy to read. I like that. Uh, where we program it, it is in Celsius. I don't think this will read in Fahrenheit. It starts at 40, is lowest, and then it goes all the way up to 100. So it goes from 40 to 100 Celsius for programming it. That's the just the heat the water mode is when you see the little tea kettle. And then the next one, this is a mode that to keep the water in here at the same temperature. So say you're making something in some tea but you want it to keep staying warm, it'll keep heating up to keep it stay at that temperature. That's interesting. I like that. And then this one is an extended uh, boil mode. Let's make it a hundred and then turn on. So let's program it to go to a hundred Celsius. Celsius it's blinking very fast. The capacity on this is 1.7 liters. That's a pretty standard size for a lot of these tea, electric tea kettles is that size. Wow, this is fast. I like that. It 
it doesn't um, have like a beep or anything that lets you know and I know some have a light that goes on and off so this just pretty much here it's no longer flashing so that means that it's heated up and that definitely looks like hot hot water there Overall, I'm extremely pleased with this tea kettle. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I've used a lot of tea kettles. I've owned a lot of the electric ones, and my friends all have them. So I've used a lot, and this one really is a nice one. It's nice and heavy duty. It's got a good base that's not flimsy, and a lot of them do have some pretty flimsy bases on them. I like uh, how it uh, seems like it's something that is not going to be falling apart soon. It seems like it's well built. I love that it has the two windows on both sides. I've never seen that before. I really like that I can program it. Um, the other thing, which is a very practical thing, is this. It's big enough that I can put my hand down and clean it out. And it's easy to fill it up and, and to uh, rinse it out. Um, that is a problem that a lot of these tea kettles have is they tend to have too small of a opening. And some of them you can't even put your hand down inside and it's really hard to clean. I really love it. Well, that concludes my unboxing and review of the Vava Electric Digital Tea Kettle. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.